Hi everybody, welcome to Like My Way Tarot. So, we're here for a new reading. And today we're looking into uh, if you should make a move towards your person and how are things aligning. So basically an energy check. Um, I know it's easy to say it's time to move on, it's time to let go, surrender and all of that. But we, it's much more easier to sit there and wait so let's see if you should not wait and make that move so this is how it's gonna go today if you should make a move and are things aligning in your connection we have four piles but before i let you choose just want to say a big huge thank you to all of you who are commenting in the videos first of all but also all of you guys emailing me more privately just to say thank you that is so appreciated uh it really really um warms my heart to know that um the messages that i'm giving you are actually helping so thank you so much all of you so we have four piles today pile one about two, three, and four. And uh, all the timestamps are in the description box with the link for the private Facebook group. And all the infos for personal readings are in there as well. So um, I'm giving you a moment to choose. And I will see you at your reading. Hi, everybody who chose pile one, group one. So we're going to start with uh, the energy check, see how things are aligning in your connection. And then we'll check out uh, if you should make a move, if you should express your feelings, uh, if you should ask for clarification, communication with your person, if you should just message your person. So we'll see what uh, what's your best move. Okay, what's the best thing to do right now and your connection? So you have to be aware that this can be triggering because things here might not be aligning now. But when we get to the question, it might tell you to actually express yourself towards your person. And that would shift the energy. So just be aware of that. We can have two different answers. It might not be just yes, yes, or no, no. It might be yes and no. And then you're going to have to uh, see if you're ready for making a move or to not make a move. So first, I'll do a connection spread just to see what's going on in the connection. So let's see what is your energy right now in the connection. So we're getting the Four of Swords Reverse. Okay, this is being a little restless. Um, uh, you're tired and frustrated uh, about the stagnation here, things not moving. It is also uh, a card of resentment. So, or an energy of being resentful and, and not being able to heal and to or and whore to move on so this is the place you are at now so it's not a you know the the nicest place place to be what is your person's energy here in the connection what's your person's energy we're having the seven of wands So this is a um, I'm hearing uh, finding excuses. 
it's being uh, trying to justify, trying to make it make sense of it. It it is a struggle, challenge. Uh, your person might be very on the fence or defensive. So basically, uh, maybe uh, putting the break in the connection or just not moving forward. What's the thing or the main message that you need to know or to hear here? What do you need to pay attention to right now? We're having the Eight of Cups reversed. So this is confusion. It's like you it's like um you might feel very rejected here. Uh feeling hopeless uh, or without power. Not know not knowing which way to go. It's confusion here. So this is um telling you here to really focus on what is truly really happening inside of you and in the connection okay i'm just going to clarify it after for your person well we got two that came out uh the nine of pentacles reversed and the queen of wands that's interesting okay so seems like maybe your person wants to have some fun now or they're too focused on on having to on keeping their uh their freedom it's not wanting to to be attached here and they have to focus on 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 that on on really understanding what they want and and listening to their gut feeling instead of of being in in uh or sorry uh, or having unrealistic expectations that's what it is this is being unrealistic it might be immature as well let's see for you just clarifying the eight of cups reversed because it, it really feels like you're drifting away you're like you lo losing track of yourself here you're losing yourself so you have to focus on this on you And we're having the Two of Swords. This is about making a choice. It's time to make a choice. It's time to choose yourself. It, it is also... Um, um, time to maybe make a compromise and really listen to your intuition instead of being stuck in indecision. Just... I'm sorry, I'm, <laughs> let me collect all this, the, what I'm receiving. It's really about you focusing on what's, what your inner self is telling you, your higher self. What's the connecting energy between the two of you? So here we're getting, it's time to focus on you. And it's like your person here. And it's interesting because here we're getting more darker colors for you. You're more in the shadow side. When your person here is more like, okay, let's uh, let's have fun. Um, they might um, be just unrealistic about things. Maybe they're, depending on the connection, maybe they're just expecting too much of the connection. Or they're just like um, taking some kind of distance to live something else that's uh, really a surface level. Connecting energy, we're having the t Ten of Wands. 
Um, Ten of Wands is, um, it's very stressful energy. It is like a burden. It's heavy. Um, feeling um, stressed and oppressed by things. It is also number 10, which is like, um, it's, it is a traveling energy. It's movement, but carrying some kind of baggage. It feels like it's the end of a, uh, of a cycle. Let's clarify this. What's the connecting energy between the two of them? We're having the page of cups here reversed. Uh, this is insecurity. It might be impulsive. Um, there's a lack of communication here. It might be... Um, what I'm hearing is that your person cannot... Or you both have to learn how to put yourself in the other's shoes. Changing your perception and being able to see things a bit more... Um, the way your person might be feeling or living the situation. Because otherwise you're blindfolded and um, just walking on your own. It's like you're both on a journey where you're not understanding each other, having different languages. Okay, so I'll put this here. right like that okay so should you make a move towards your person or having the queen of swords reversed strength And death reversed. Let's start with that. Queen of Swords. This is like very cold. It could be very emotional energy as well. But distant. It's time to gather your strength here. And we're having death reversed. I would say no. I would say no. It's not time to make a move. You have to be stronger here. And you have to find some clarity before you make a move. And we know here that you're like a, a little confused. So you need to be more... Um, aware of what reality is and change your perception just let them um, actually it's more like letting the dust fall or the fog to clear before you actually move uh this is uh being strong enough to detach a bit because you do need space let's ask what's going to happen in your connection We're having the Eight of Pentacles. So if you decide to take some space and not do anything, reflect and work on yourself here. Get yourself back on track, back on your feet, get stronger. What's going to happen? We're having the Eight of Pentacles to start, which is uh, finding some focus. It's, um, it's being... Um, willing to work on it it's craftsmanship it's really uh taking the time to make things right what's going to happen in the connection in the future it's like things are going to fall into place or having the page of swords reversed The Hierophant reversed. Oh, we have two here. The Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups reversed. <sighs> I 
Okay, don't shoot the messenger here. I think that with time, because this connection is not being balanced, there's a lot of disconnect between the two of you right now. And that will stick around for a while. There's a lot of insecurity along the way, especially with the Ace of Cups. I'm going to clarify the, uh, the Ace of Cups. Because I feel like there will be new opportunities showing up and you might realize that this is not for you at the moment. This is not what's best for you right now. We're having the Eight of Wands a stagnation. So it's not going to move for the next three months or two months. It's very stagnant right now. If you don't feel like... Uh, if you do feel like this person is is the one for you, this is energy for the you know the next two three months. Uh, things are very stagnant, very off balanced. Um, a lot of doubts, a lot of insecurities are showing up, and lots of stagnation. So there's not much movement here, and here it's saying that it's not the right time for you to make. That move and you have to be stronger rise above that's what it's saying let's see what your person wants you to know and we'll get a message uh, about your connection what's important to know about this connection here for group one you deserve love you need to learn to love yourself first okay but you're lovable and I think that this is what it's saying. You need to love yourself first and not depend on others or not wait for others to bring you that love. What else do you need to know about this connection? I know it's not the most exciting message here, but I think it's something that you need to no, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So th that's interesting because if you're in contact with your person, it might be time to, you know, appreciate the moments with your person without having expectations. Just appreciate the moment and release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Maybe one of you is attached to someone else from, you know, a past relationship. Maybe this ex is, is this person that you're thinking about. So you, depending on your situation, I'm sure you can um, relate to it depending on what, what the connection is about and the situation. So what is your person wanting you to know? He's finding answer. So I am finding answers. Oh, this one just flew out. I regret all this pain I caused you. What else would they like you to know? It's just like not the right time right now. Things aren't always the way they seem. This comes um, very much with what I said before um, when it comes to you seeing the situation the way it is, not the way you wish it would be or it, yeah, it could be. I find you in music. So... Probably there's some songs remind, reminding your person of 
him or her. Having some messages coming through music. Let's get you an advice here. What's the best advice for a viewer group one? Well, I guess you're getting two. <clears throat> Star, believe in yourself. Again, about focusing on yourself. You're a wonder of creation. Wash away all fears and discover you are a shining star. Allow all around you to just be. Let go of trying to control life for the light of your soul will guide you always toward love. Remember, stars are born through explosions of love. Love illuminates all things. Never forget, you are truly a shining star. And we have Breakthrough. How many beautiful art fail wishes have you crushed by fear? How many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams? It is time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dream. Allow your heart to guide you. Trust your inner guidance. The time is right. There's a lot about focusing on yourself and loving yourself here and putting yourself first instead of focusing on others. There you go. This is a message that I have for you today, Group 1. I know it's uh, it's a tough one. But um, if you feel like you need some clarification on, on your specific situation, you can always email me for a personal reading. And um, give it time. And if you feel like this person is the right one for you, Work on yourself for now. Give it a little bit of time and the energy will shift uh, anyways because energy sh changes all the time. So there you go, group one. Thanks for watching till the end and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody. Who chose a group two? So this deck here. So we're going to ask if it's a good thing or in, in your best interest to make a move towards your person so we're gonna do that in a moment first i'm gonna do your connection spread and see how things are aligning in your connection so let's start with your energy this can be very triggering uh we can have um things and not align i'm just giving an example things not aligning here but if it's saying to make a move here, it's to make that energy shift. So very important to watch both. We can have very different answers here. It might be in your best interest to make a move just to find some clarity in the connection. It doesn't mean that, you know, there's union right around the corner. So we'll see how things are aligning here in your connection to start. So what is viewer group two's energy in their connection? It's a strength reversed. What about your person? So you're feeling very weak. Uh, I'm hearing helpless. Uh, it is a struggle. You might feel like rage, anger. Um, you might be stuck in your ego uh, as well, just like to show that everything's okay, but it's not. Things are not okay for you right now. Your person is the six of, so of wands reversed in the connection. Six of, six of wands. So they're, <laughs> they're doubting. Um, they're, uh, it's like they're taking the wrong direction. Or they're tempted to take the wrong direction, the wrong way. Um, it could be also being uh, stuck in their ego. And not being true to themselves. So there's... It's like you're feeling like very similarly. Your energies are similar. 
um, yours might be more emotional. What do you need to pay attention to? The Hierophant reversed. And what does your person need um, to pay attention to? The Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so your person needs to work on or focus on getting out of the dark. They're feeling, um, there's something about feeling left out here and they need to pay attention to that, be able to express themselves, express what they want, they need. Um, um, and stop avoiding. Um, so they need to get back on their feet and, and find their confidence again. This is a card of re recovery. They need to wake up spiritually, see the opportunity, see more clearly. So that's what they need to focus on. And we just got here that uh, they're like taking the wrong direction, the wrong path, or they're not focusing on the right thing, thing here. And they're kind of failing at it. They feel like they're failing at the connection. On, on your side here, with the Hierophant reversed, it's about being true to yourself and, and no, no lies allowed. Um, this is acting against your higher self or against your values or your beliefs. And allowing things to happen, even if you know it's not good for you. So you have to reject what's not good for you. It's like lying to yourself here. Maybe making too many compromises. Something like that. Okay, what is the connecting energy between the two of you? It feels like you're both like sad that this is like not quite happening what's the connecting energy between the two of you the queen of swords you both want to find clarity and the truth so you both want some reassurance you want this to be a bit more organized or clear between the two of you so you both want communication because it's it's like you're you're not understanding each other, but you kind of feel the same way here. This is so different than pile one. Wow. Okay, so uh, another card for the um, connecting energy. Let's see if we can get more message. What's the connecting energy between the two of them? Oh, that's just too many. And the thing flipped. Okay, what's the connecting energy between the two of them? We're having the three of cups reversed. There, uh, there is some kind of disconnect between the two of you. Miscommunication here. The, uh, could be that there's another person involved or a situation in the way between the two of you that is making it not possible right now or that kind of really damaged the connection or the, the relationship you two had. And that's making it difficult. But there's something uh, right there um, that is making one of you or maybe both of you not faith, faithful to the connection. And I'm not talking necessarily about cheating. It's having the the focus or you're putting your focus or energy elsewhere so one of you or both of you it's like the, there's a disconnection between the two of you i'm just going to ask for uh one more card for your connecting energy so just to 
see if we can get more information here. Uh, the Ten of Swords reverse. So this is needing a relief, making it um, easier, simpler. Um, there is hope. That's nice. That's recovery. It's renewal. It's like you both want a new chance at this. So this is really cool. Really, really cool. So let's put all of these up here so that I can do the rest and you can still see them because I know lots of you know about, you know, tarot and it's nice to see all the energies at once or as much as you can or I can show. All right. So let's see. Is it in the best interest of your connection and yourself to make uh, the first move here? Or having the fool take a leap of faith, the tower reversed. So then the best interest of you or group two to make the first move or to make a move. King of Cups. Hierophant upright. That's interesting because it's your uh it's the thing that you need to pay attention to. It's in reverse here. It's like you, uh, mm, wow. Okay. I'm just going to pull the last card and then I'll explain here. I think it's time to express your feelings. Sorry. A bunch of them flipped. That was too many. And the Ace of Wands. Yes. I think you have to take a chance. And flip the wheel. We're having the tower reversed here. It's um, getting out of the denial here and express your true feelings. Okay, express from the heart, not the head, without judgment, without um, blaming, just to get. I'm hearing get the shit out. <laughs> I clear the air. Um, there is some passion here. Uh, the renewal, Ace of Wands. Uh, this is uh, the potential is there. The creation is possible for something new. Having the Hierophant here, um, balancing everything here. Uh, I would say yes. It's it'd be a great thing to. Uh, To contact your person. To make some kind of move towards them. I'm just going to clarify the tower reverse. See if we can get more infos. We're having the eye precess reversed. It's time to stop repressing your feelings. It's time to, yeah, yeah, I would, I would go ahead and express your feelings without expectation. It's, it's in, it's in your highest interest to make a move. This can be really scary because, um, we don't know. We don't know how your person's going to react. What's going to happen. Feels like your person, um, is missing you and like to get another chance here. Um, but it, it's time to um, release very much. This is very intense. These are two major arcana cards. Lots of repression. I, maybe you've been waiting for a long time. Um, but it's time to speak from your heart and find some balance. These two cards are balance. And generosity. And strength. You have to speak from your heart. And know what's best for you. We're having the 11 here. With the two um, columns. Plus the moon. Plus the cross. Um, 
there's something about this connection that um that's very strong very strong soul connection and it's time to find peace and i i think it's time to uh, clarify things with your person and you don't have to go at it like all at once but yes you should open up to your person it's in your highest interest what can you tell us about this connection very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now how oh, nice maybe uh maybe you're the one that pushed away your person maybe you're the one uh, the runner or having more doubts your person wants wants that relief they do want that um healing to happen between and your connection what else can you tell us about the connection here for our group two soulmates didn't i say so, strong soul connection yes this is your soulmate that's a beautiful reading here group two that's nice let's see what your person wants you to know what would they tell you if they could oh this one the vine is guiding me. Holy smokes. Hey. Eh? It's like things, they do want to align, but maybe you're both too stubborn to kind of make that first step towards the other. Or one of you is too proud. That's what I'm hearing. Maybe it's time to express that, you know, you're sorry about something or really like without blaming the other one that's very important would you take me back what else would they like to tell you let's see You're always so sweet. What else would they like to tell you? You're the only person in the world who really scares me. So they're afraid of their feelings for you. Maybe they're distracting themselves with... Um, activities or other people going out or so but there's something um like in between the two of you that needs to be let go and i think that by expressing yourself a bit just open the door let your person know that you're still interested and Or that you still have feelings for them or that you wish that things were different or just that you miss spending time to, with your person just something like short sweet and just and just wait for the response or the reaction and they might not respond right away because they're really scared here they're scared of their feelings let's get you an advice Trust. Interesting. Um, you are looking at a situation from a purely physical perspective, and therefore you cannot see the bigger picture and the blessings interwoven within this event. We, your angels, urge you to trust. For all will work out in the best way possible. Let go of your fear and apprehension and allow God, God's healing's energy to flow to you. Trust for all will heal in ways you never thought possible. Trust, trust, trust. That's nice. Okay, 
So you have to trust, okay? The fool is like not thinking. He doesn't analyze. He doesn't think of the consequences. He just jump in. Uh, he's very careless. So, uh, so he just trusts. The fool just trusts that things are going to be fine. And I think that's what needs to happen. And you might have lost that trust here. But I, I feel like your person is waiting for you to give a sign. Just a sign. And then you'll see the energy will shift. And, um, you know, in a few weeks, it's going to be completely different. All right. So there you go, group two. This is the message that I have for you. Hope this resonates. Please come and subscribe. Uh, join the Facebook group if you need some support or just if you feel like joining the family. And um, and you'll see my face in there. Um, and I comment and I read everything. So thank you so much for being with me till the end. And I will see you very soon. Thank you. See you soon. À la prochaine, tout le monde. Hi, everybody who chose group three. So you chose this deck here which I'm going to use in a second. Uh, first, I want to do a connection spread and see what's going on in your connection. You have to be, you have to understand and know that what we're going to get here might be completely different than what we're going to get there. So we can get yes, yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes. You know, um, it can go both ways. So it might be triggering um, having, like, for example, a super awesome energy in the connection and here telling you to not make a move okay so it can go that way or it can just go no it's time to go and move and go ahead uh we'll see so what is your energy group three and oop and your connection okay there's just like too much that came out but we got something that flipped We're having the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Ace of Pentacles being reversed and Eight of Swords. Okay. So you're feeling trapped with no way out here in this connection. Like you're running in circle. Like there's like you don't know which way to go and you don't know how to get yourself untangled from that connection. It's like you want to figure it out. You want to be back on your feet, back in your power. You want a new beginning. You want things to like either be over or start fresh, but you, you're you ready to get things moving here. Um, you want to feel better. You're ready to feel better. So you just want to get yourself untrapped here. Because you feel like it, it's kind, of, you're, you're kind of walking in the dark, and and going nowhere. What about your person? You might feel very alone, left out as well. Like dropped behind, let down, let down. Okay. What about your person? We're having the King of Pentacles reversed. How interesting. Two Pentacles here reversed. So your person is... Um, I'm going to clarify it. Since you have two cards, might as well clarify your person as well. Clarify the King of Pentacles reversed. Page of Pentacles. Okay, your person here feels the loss, disappointed that it didn't work out or that it's not working out, that there's something making it uh, unstable. Um, and they wish they could control this, the situation. Um, the King of Pentacles can also be, and this is not for everyone, but you'll know if it's for you. And if it doesn't resonate, that's fine. But the King of Pentacles 
is also an energy of suppression or wanting to control. And by control, it could be just wanting to control the situation, but it could be also manipulation. Um, so be aware of that. If you feel like your person is trying to manipulate or control you, because you're feeling out of control here, just be aware. It could be a red flag. Okay? And we're having the Page of Pentacles to clarify this. Um, so th they want things to... They want... I think they want a new chance. They want a new opportunity. They want to get better at this uh, connection. They, they kind of want to fix it. They want to make it happen. But be careful of the reason. If it's to control and manipulate you, it might be a red flag for you. It might not be the case at all. It might just be that they they cannot make it happen just because they're working too much or there's too much distance between the two of you and they cannot travel towards you. So, so this can be uh, a few things. So just be careful. Okay, it can go in a, a toxic way, just as it could go in a beautiful, awesome way as well. So be careful with uh, the King of Pentacles here. Since this is a, uh, a timeless reading for lots of people, there's a few messages. So j just be careful with, with it. If you want some clarification for your own situation, you can email me and ask me for a personal reading so I can clarify uh, this situation you're in a bit more. So let's see what you need to pay attention to in this connection. We're having the six of ones reverse. So you have to be careful to not let yourself down and not feel defeated because that's where you're at a little bit here. This is about taking a responsibility. Um, it is a challenge. It might, you might need to take a step back, reevaluate things, but you have to get back, um, um, in the right state of mind here. And, and we know your feelings, you know, trapped, but really right now th there's something about feeling defeated uh feeling like you've kind of lost the battle what about your person or having the tower Jeez. okay so tower this is <laughs> it might be a very scary um emotional um period for your person here having the tower they need to be um aware or you actually i think this is more for you uh, that your person might be very, very focused on the materialistic stuff, on money, career, you know, the 3D things, having the car, the expensive things, going out, living the life, and they feel like this is um, important. So living in the kind of an in the illusion and your connection is kind of shaking that down it's kind of breaking a little bit their beliefs about what being uh having a successful relationship and life is they're very shaken here what is uh the connecting energy between the two of you We're having the Page of Swords reversed. Lots of doubts. A lot of unknown and lots of unsaid. So your person might have been, you know, there might have been some miscommunication, misunderstanding, lies, but it's like things are not quite clear between the two of you of what happened eight of cups reverse again disconnect 
Eight of Cups reverse. I'm going to pull one more for the connecting energy. Um, this is feeling hopelessness, feeling rejected. Um, you know, kind of similar energy, just like falling apart. Energy falling apart. That's how you both feel. We're having devil and rebirth. Reversed. So you're both kind of fighting this. You're both resisting. Um, it's very stagnant, but you're both very like kind of obsessed by each other. It's taking all your mind space and your heart space as well, but you're both like very disturbed by this connection. Your energy has been shaken. So it's kind of you lost your um your stability. Both of you have lost your stability. Which this there's definitely a, so, uh, a strong soul connection between the two of you to get to that state of of feeling so off balance. Both of you uh, are feeling like you're losing, you're tripping. It's like you tripped and you cannot get back on track. So strong soul connection for sure. Uh, might be twin flames. If um, if you thought or had doubts, it, it could be. It could be twin flames or strong soulmates as well. I don't feel like it's a karmic connection. For most of you, at least. It's definitely very intense. So now, should you make a move towards your person? Is it the right time or the right thing to do? Is it in your highest interest to make a move? I will ask um, after what your person wants uh, to tell you so so that you get messages from your person. We're having the devil reverse. Oh, resistance. Interesting that we're getting the devil twice. Twice in reverse. <sighs> What's going on with you, group three? The hermit reversed. The Hierophant. Upright. Should you make a move? Should viewer group 3 make a move towards your person? The Page of Pentacles reversed. That's interesting because he's got it there. And these two flew out. I'm going to keep them here. Um, I'll show you in a second. And the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Okay, should you make a move? Okay, this is a little complicated and unclear. It is... There's so much resistance here. Group three, the devil and the hermit reverse. Hmm. Um, I think there's something here at, about detaching, taking like just a step back to find your balance first to see clearly just like to let the fog uh you know clear out just like uh, take take a little bit of time for that um it's too foggy as it feels like it might be too impulsive if you make the move now it's just like you're just gonna run and run and add it and just say too much it's just gonna be too strong for your person to be able to handle so there's some balance that needs to be um, in place before that. 
you have to listen to your intuition and just like take your time here. You will find the guidance. You will um, find the answers here. But first you need to know what you want. And get back in your power a bit. Um, Page of Pentacles reversed with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, I think that if you make a move now, it might be the outcome might be very frustrating. Not what you want. I don't feel like your person is ready. But it would clear your mind. So before you make a move, if you're thinking about making a move, just take time to make things balance. Align your your thoughts, your feelings, make sure that things are flowing. And there's some release here that needs to happen. We're having the Nine of Swords reverse. So this is you finding a new perception, but it's being objective and recovering. This, this is finding answers. So if you decide to go forward and have a conversation with your person, it would be mostly for that, to find some clarity. It would not be for union just right now. I'm not saying that it wouldn't be ever because your person really does care very much, but they're not quite ready for that. But it would help you understand and heal and release whatever frustration and anger that is keeping you trapped just so that you know where things are so if you do decide to make a move towards your person do not expect them to say yes i love you and just jump in your arms and want to be a couple right away it would not be that it would be to release and understand for you it would be good for you you would get answers but they might react quite strongly because they're having this tower moment so they can just straight reject you even if it's not how they feel so the reaction right now could be very impulsive so just be aware of that if you decide to make a move and depending on your situation you'll know if when and if it's the right time what message do you have for this connection here for group three? Finances and career. So finances, uh, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Well, it could very well be because we're having all these pentacles. I need to point out that there's not many cups out here on the table. Is there any cups? Uh, yes, there's the Eight of Cups reverse, so that's disconnect. So, so it could be about financial, like actual money, but just it could be about like fixing situations and getting things on track. Like, for example, if your person is just starting a new job, they do want to invest time there and they might not have enough or energy and time to give in a connection or something like that like there's something um of the everyday life that is keeping uh distance between the two of you what else can you tell us about this connection passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so you both need to open up definitely you both need to be in your heart and your soul more than your head. And right now with all these pentacles and these swords, you're just trying to find answers and that works for both. So it's to allow yourself to be vulnerable. And I find, I think that if you're having a conversation with your person or if you make a move, 
it's going to be very rational and not in touch with your true feelings. So you have to find that out, I think, first. I'm going to ask for one more. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So a time to be vulnerable and open up to each other. I just said that. How awesome. Okay, what would your person or what does your person want to tell you? I'm going to take this one, not these. There's too many and nothing flipped. You're so beautiful. What else would they like to tell you? Divine is guiding me. So they're finding answers. Um, when the tower moment happens like this, you get to like your your shadow side like really triggers. It gets triggered like crazy. And that's when you kind of have to listen to your gut feeling finally and your intuition. I'll get one more. So if you uh, want to have more, um, you know, clarification about your own situation, you can contact me for personal reading. It's all in the description box. Please give me some time. Your person needs some time. I just mentioned that your person is not ready. Now, there's just too much happening. It's just like it's overwhelming. What else would they like you to know? So we meet again, dear friends, through space and across time. So this person might be a soulmate or a twin flame. And I think I mentioned this, having the tower there, it's very much a, um, a twin flame kind of energy. It doesn't mean you're twins. But it, it is a strong connection between the two of you. There's something definitely um, very intense going on. I love you. I hate you. I can't live without you. Again, very twin flamey energy here. Wow. How about one more? Okay. Bonus one. It's easier to stay away now than lose you later. So there's a lot of work that, that's going on in your person here. And they might not reach out to you because they want to protect you. Because they don't want to lose you later. They know they're not ready. And they do recognize this bond that you have to each other so that is nice they're just not ready just yet so just take it easy your person has to focus on something else and your connection uh, you know in their life it has nothing to do with their feelings for you they're just focused uh, on, on situations and like the everyday life situation that needs to be taking care of responsibilities you know oh you're getting a prayer as an advice dear guardian i'm gonna try to make this sharp so that you can maybe take a screenshot i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do that because it's always nice if you can read it on your own you know so it says, Dear Guardian Angel, help me dissolve past guilt or regret. Help me to see that all is always in perfect and divine order. Help me to let go of the fear that I project on my future. Help me to live fully within each precious moment. And feel your eternal love within and around me. Help me to realize and fulfill my true potential. Thank you. This is, I gotta tell you, group three, that this is very, very, very similar to uh, a period 
that I was in when I met my twin flame. And we had this big tower moment. Um, so he ran away and I got left in a situation like this. Very, very similar. And I did not know where to turn and I did not know how to get back up. I felt very defeated and I, for those who are like newer to the channel, I have two other businesses and I don't consider tarot reading as a business. It's a calling. It's a mission. It's not a business. It's uh, something that I need to do. Uh, I cannot, I cannot not do it, but I have two big businesses here and um, so I'm a business person or I was. <laughs> And that connection, that tower moment completely changed me. After that, I started uh, the, ch the the channel. I, I had the tower moment in uh, October, end of October. And March 2nd, I think I started um, the channel just because I needed to. I'd never taught in a million years that it would get so big that that I would hire more people at my businesses to be able to do this and to do personal readings for people instead of, you know, having that big job. Uh, so it's kind of uh, life changing. And I really feel like this is what's happening. So give it time. Give uh, like I would say two months. I know we want it to happen like right away. Give it time. This energy will shift. It will shift. But if you feel like you have something to tell your person. I think it would be good. But do not expect um, your person to either respond. Uh, get it uh, in a relationship with you right now. Uh, you, if you have something to get off your chest. Say it without expectation. Just to free yourself. And I, I, will, I regret not, not, have, not doing that when I was in that spot, in that place. Because I carried it for over a year. And to release it after a year, it's, I think it's more difficult. So if you feel like this, you know, if what I'm saying resonates with you, um, go ahead. And do it. But do not expect your person to run at you. And you know. It's just. The only expectation would be to release. Whatever is holding you back. Whatever is hurting you. Whatever you need to say. Alright. Group 3. This is a message that I had for you. Thank you so much for watching till the end. As usual. And feel free to contact me if you uh, you want a personal reading. So thank you so much. I'll see you very soon. Merci beaucoup tout le monde. On se voit bientôt. Hi everybody. Who chose pile four? So you chose this deck here. And we're going to ask uh, a little later. Uh, if it's a good idea for you to make a move. Towards your person. Or if it's best to to not do anything. So we'll see what the message is right there in a moment. First, I want to do a connection spread to see what's going on in your connection. And how things are aligning or not aligning for you, group four. And it's interesting because I really wasn't planning to do four piles today. But I really... When I sat down, I had it one deck <laughs> on the table for a fourth pile, which is your pile. So we'll see uh, what what's up. So we're having three cards here that flipped for your energy at the moment. What about your person? Let's start with that. I think we're going to have a lot to say here. So you're in a period of anxiety, depression, um, fears, um, you're really feeling lost and you're, it might be like 
feeling obsessed by whatever happened or by the connection itself. But it's really taking all the space in your mind. And this is like a sleepless night. This is very overwhelming. So you're feeling very overwhelmed. Things are really rocky for you right now with the six of of uh, swords reversed. It's choppy waters. It's, it's just so difficult. And you feel like you've lost it. You've lost everything. You've lost that dream. It's a huge um, disappointment. Whatever is going on in the connection. It, it's super disappointing for you. And you're overwhelmed here. It's heartbreaking. Uh, that's your energy at the moment. When it comes to your person, we're having the page of pentacles. So this is this is the opposite. This is happiness, contentment, and and confidence. Really seeing something beautiful in the connection when it comes to your person. Quite the opposite. Very interesting. Very, uh, it could be curious. This is uh, seeing the opportunity. Just feeling good and, and wanting maybe a little bit a little bit more. It's feeling balanced with the Page of Pentacles. So that's uh, wanting to discover more. Wanting this to happen. Um, really wanting to discover a bit more about you and the connection. What about, what do you need to uh, pay attention to? We're having the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So. Hmm. You have to be careful to not stay stagnant. To like right now, you're completely jammed, stuck, blocked, uh, overwhelmed, and you need to pay attention to that and to, to keep walking. That's what I'm hearing. Keep walking, and, and that fear has to be released, or j you just have to face it. What about your person? Queen of Wands. Again, this is being passionate, wanting to grow something with you. Um, they're very creative. They might be... I have a feeling that most of you are the runners. You're afraid of this connection. And your person is all in. They just want it. They, they want to... To happen between the two of you but something is blocking you here you might be with someone else you might be far away it might be something that like you cannot even wrap your head around like this is not possible that it, this is happening for me um and it's carrying the hell out of you you might be afraid of of um People's perception, what they're going to think, um, you know, the social pressure. You might be afraid of that. You might be afraid of the consequences in your life if you have kids, you know, um, what would happen. You might have um, this fear of breaking something that you have right now. So you might be with someone or not. But there's that fear uh, here of breaking something. And I, for some of you, and I, I think uh, quite a bit of you, breaking the family that you already have. And there's that guilt overwhelming you of maybe thinking of leaving things behind for something else, which is your person. All right, you have to tell me how this resonates with you uh, in the comment section. And uh, I'm going to give you the same warning that I gave to the other piles. 
this might be very triggering because what your person wants and what's in your best interest might be completely different. So we'll see when we get to the other pile here, the other uh, question. What's uh, the connecting energy between the two of them? Justice. And the moon reversed. Hmm. There is a lot of frustration here because, like, the balance is hard to achieve. There's some kind of disillusion. And it's a, it's a little bit off balance, but it feels so right, this connection. It feels so true. And there's that disbelief here. So there's a decision to make. There's a little bit of confusion here happening. Because I feel like it, this connection was a huge shock for you, the viewer. But your person uh, is seeing things very clearly. They know what they want right now maybe you were together and your person is reaching out and and, and you're like no I'm, I'm not sure this is right for me right now or something like that yeah but deep down you know the answer but the fear is freezing you you like you stay stuck um in place let's make a little bit of space here um For the other cards. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to fit all of these up here. We'll see. Yeah, okay, not bad. Not bad. You have to notice that right in the middle here, we're having the balance card, the justice. And the thing I'm focusing on, there's two things. Or uh, There's like these two cups for the balance. The connection, the energy between the two of you, which is very LT. It's partnership and harmony. It's attraction. And there's also this mirror effect, like you're both mirroring each other. Like the other person is your reflection or is showing you your shadow side or the better side of you. But something about reflecting each other, being meant for each other. And this is like putting you in a shock kind of energy. Very, very overwhelming for you, viewer. Group four. So let's see. Right now, is it in your highest interest to make a move towards your person? And I feel like for you to make a move towards your person would have some consequences on your life. Or people around you. Or the place you live. If you, it's asking you to move um, or travel. But it, it would change your life drastically. For, for a big part of you, group four. That's what I'm sensing. So, is it in your highest interest to make a move, take action towards your person? Because your person has this beautiful energy for you. Really, really bright energy for you. <laughs> Nine of Swords. How interesting is this card here? So, for you, right now, it's time to release. Being more objective. Um, seeing things in a different perception, different angle. This is about recovery and revelation. So you're realizing something great. You might not feel like it's great right now, but it's changing you very deeply. And it's triggering you. Or having the lovers. This is a twin flame card. 
And this is the energy of mirroring each other, attracting each other by being the same but opposite at the same time. A little bit like what I said here. Wow. Okay. It is um, a, a, a force that's stronger than you. It's duality and union at the same time. It's wanting to unify your soul. And it's all about making a choice. For having the chariot. This is fast action and balance. You know that you can flip the rows here. If you feel like you're more this energy, this would be your person. You can always flip the rows in, uh, in readings. So, chariot, fast energy, the fool jumping in, taking that leap of fate and trusting. So, we have release, union, duality, balance and moving forward super fast and jumping in without, ta um, carelessly, without thinking of the consequences. So, so far, <laughs> group four. Yes, you should go ahead. It, it would be in your IS interest. And the King of Wands. Holy smokes. Wow. This is finding the maturity to live your best life. This is incredible. It, it, it's, I'm speechless. So the answer is yes, you should... Um, Trust that this connection is in your IS interest. And yes, it's changing your life, most possibly. But this is real. It's not an, an illusion. It is real. Wow, that's quite, um, quite intense, guys. It's a very clear message. Like, it's a most the clearest message of the four piles i knew i needed to do four piles hmm how interesting let's see what you need to know about this connection what's the message for group four passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy it's okay to be happy. It's okay to believe in it. It's like it's like you're resisting so much. And when we resist something, it's because we want it. So allow your heart to feel. It's okay to take that risk. It, it really is. It really, really is. This is so positive. <laughs> give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So give it a chance. The fool. It's like you have nothing to lose here. It's like um, your guides or the divine is really screaming like, what are you waiting for? That's what it's doing. So, uh, yeah, I would... I would uh, Actually, I would not hesitate one second. What does your person want to tell you here? What would they tell you if they could? What did they want to say to you? Oh, I'll go with this one that flew away. Will you say yes? So they want you to say yes very much. But you're stuck in fear here. Keep wishing. Keep believing. You, you really have here to ask yourself what, uh, what you're afraid of. What's truly make you feel so afraid? Is it disappointment? Fear of being abandoned, left out, um, the fear of just showing your feelings. 
so that you can release it. We have to be honest. Honest to each other, honest to yourself. I'm going to pull you one more. What do you need to know? I am leaving things that are not serving me. I feel like this is more for you. You have to release. Because your person is really willing to take that, that chance. What else do they want to tell you? You're my destiny. They know it. They absolutely know that. It's like their mind is so clear. What else do they want to tell you? I always hope to have you in my life. They do know what they want. Okay, <laughs> There's like so no doubt here. It's rarely that clear. Super clear. That it's, it's time to make a move. They're ready. But you're not. Let's get you an advice. I might get two actually. I did only one for the other groups. But you. I feel you need more guidance. Prayer. So we're getting a prayer. Dear guardian angel. Help me dissolve past guilt or regret help me to see that all is always in perfect and divine order help me to let go of the fear that i project on my future yeah there's a lot of fear here help me to live fully within each precious moment and feel your eternal love within and around me help me to realize and fulfill my true potential thank you I'm going to try to make this sharp so that you can maybe take a screenshot and read it for yourself. I think it's sharp. There we go. Let's get you another advice. One or two, I don't know yet. So what's the advice here? Give me another advice for group four. What do they need to know? What's important for them to understand right now? Oh, oh we're getting two. Creativity and self-love. Express your creativity. Uh, taste the mystery of your inner self. Or inner muse if i translate it um word for word but um get in touch with yourself it's okay to be vulnerable that's what this is saying it's saying to create yourself and 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 uh, did you see my hand shaking wow okay it's time to create and allow the magic to happen and love yourself here self-love Take care of your body. Love and appreciate appreciation. I, I'm sorry, I, I'm having a hard time pronouncing that. Appreciation of self are ultimate gesture of well being. So it's time to focus on you and listen to what you want, what you need. Putting yourself first, having those boundaries. If you're stuck in a situation that you're afraid to leave. Know that it's okay if you do leave. Let's get you one more. So if you need more um, guidance in your connection, you can contact me for a personal reading. It's all in the description box. But I feel like your person is really ready and you're like really uh, blocking there, very jammed in fear. 
the root chakra, of course. The root chakra, this is how you uh, feel grounded in life, how you uh, feel secure. And this connection is making you feel very insecure because it's unknown, it's the unknown. So, uh, choose positive um, words to describe your home, career, and finances, and love relationship I'm going to add because these words are influencing um, the events, how things are going to unfold. So what you tell yourself really becomes your reality because you believe it. So what's your inner dialogue here? So if you feel like well, I, I don't deserve love, so why is he interested to me and all of that? You're creating distance. That's just an example. But think about that. Your inner dialogue. But your person is ready for um, for something real with you. They're feeling very passionate. And they're really hoping that you're going to give them a chance. All right. Group four, that's your reading. That's your message. So, yeah. Let me know how this resonates. Please comment about this. Thank you so much for watching again. And I will see you very soon. Merci beaucoup tout le monde. À bientôt.